Hello and welcome back for episode 36 of my Escape from Tarkov Hardcore series with this uh, level 17 Blueberry Boy. We have a big backpack again and uh, it's kind of exciting. We got this off a of scav. Look at these animations. They look so nice. Anyway, I believe we have something waiting for us in our hideout here. Also, between episodes, I spent a more time than I'd like to admit um, organizing my stash. And you're going to look at it and you're going to say, you organized your stash? And the answer is yes, I did. Um, got an upgrade there and an upgrade here, which is kind of cool. Should be for a defib right there. We have some nice options here. Um, blood sets are something that we can trade for... Um, but I do believe we need syringes as well. Anyway, um, we have some more options that have opened up here. I think pretty much the IFAC would be one that we would do. Um, but we definitely want more Salewas, considering they stopped the heavy bleeds. Uh, let's see what we need for this workbench level 2. We just need mechanic level two, which I think is just levels at this point. Um, it's pretty exciting. But this is the most exciting piece. We have a second junk box. Ah, that's exciting. That's really cool. Okay, we can't put it up there. So what we're gonna do, grab that, put this down here and do some good old R pliers we want to sell. I kind of went through and I took a look at a lot of the items um, that we do or don't want. Oh, uh, like nails, I only need for one thing. I'm pretty sure. Chunk, uh, we can leave this in here. We can have that be another food one. Move this up by meds. So yes, um, exciting, exciting times to have a whole nother junk box. I'm almost at a lack of words. Oh, oh, look at that. We'll just shove all of these in there for now until we get a uh, do, do, do. until we get another mag box. So this is an empty rig. This rig. Put it in our drink rig. Put that down there. That in there, that in there. Now we have two empty rigs. Um, we can start emptying these out so we can actually use these in raid. We're probably going to be almost full here, actually. E cards. Maybe we'll try labs sometime here. It'd be pretty fun. Grenade. On the hay. Oh my gosh, we have more space even still. The Nixors we will use, I think pretty soon here. Put some more weapon attachments down there, food in there. Anyway, yeah, what a, Exciting upgrade. Clear a little space up here as well. We can have a, a spot to put stuff that we're going to sell. This I want to put down here, I think. We'll find a spot for it. A little separated right now. This food one, but we'll find a 
we'll we'll shove it up there at some point. Yeah, opened up a few rigs for use, um, but then I did a bunch of sorting down here. Took some stuff off of these weapons to save space. Sold a bunch of things that we don't need. Um, and so it doesn't look much different, but I guarantee you we saved probably like 50 slots or something uh, through some of our organization. Um, but the nice thing here is that we actually do have a lot of space to do some of the things that we want to do. So I'm going to see if we actually have enough. I think we're missing one metal cutting scissors. Yeah, this uh, mag case is going to be pretty huge for us for space saving. So I think we go into interchange here. Um, we can do more toward the nighttime of things. Got that. We've got the ammo, a couple nades, Salewa. Um, and we've got our level four armor. Perfect timing. And let's go. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, at least curve around for stash starting out, especially since we have a big bag here. And we have some nice space in the junk box. And we have a good gun where we can actually take some nice outdoor fights. Um, mostly just this spawn is really hard to get inside safely. Hopefully by the time I get around it might be a little darker out. I'm not sure it will get dark in time. Stay on full auto. This gun shoots, um, the fire rate is slow enough that you can actually just tap fire while it's on full auto. It's one of the reasons I really like this AK. And AKs like it. Sometimes I like to go up this walkway just to. Sometimes you can catch somebody going across. Or see somebody running to loot. good all right looking for a good helmet here I don't think it much matters like a gun all right the a56 is nice bolts are nice oh did not press that button but by the way I changed the ammo so that this silver mag um, has all the BP has 30 out of 30 BP. Where the other one's top loaded, just because this one has better ergo stats. It's something that I did last night between episodes. Some more Quakies. Golden Star. I think we're just going to pop this here. Drop that. And this. It's going to be getting dark. the course of this raid. Oh, purple bag. Okay. Level four armor. Not bad. So cool seeing things like that. Granted, it's a ceramic armor, but it's not bad. So, so far we've only found ceramic armors in the stashes, but I'd have to imagine other ones can spawn there too. And at least they are spawning at full health, which is very helpful. Ugh, when I fought that Chad and I got like a lot of hits on him, sad. Helmet? No. Good ammo in this run so far.
This is the spooky part. It's a scav or a person. I want to say I think it's a scav. Definitely a scav. That's another scav. Shit. Making all sorts of noise. Gonna quick pack this one. It's one scav down. It's, these things pack fast. It's really nice. Oh, god damn it, dude. It's literally just chilling there. I don't think he was shooting at me. I'm gonna play this slow, because I don't think those shots are at me. It's kind of hard to tell. Wait for him to loot this guy out. You think he would, right? Hmm. Listen in, pack the other mag. Fuck, need that Taz actually. <laughs> uh, sorry, bud. Helmet? Yeah, I guess we take it. Um, just to sell. Back is nice, but I don't want it over this. And the rig. Have meds? Alright. Like to take these mags to grab the ammo out of them. It's a little silly of this guy not to pay attention to the fact that like he definitely heard me shoot. Don't really want you, and I don't want you guys, so I'm gonna get you out of the way. We'll unload those mags soon. Don't need to yet. Heck you. The suck is nice, but I don't really have space for it. Could take it over this Triton. I don't think I do.
Um, it's a really tough question. Fuck, I'm spending so much time thinking here. Um, Zucker Triton. I think I take the Triton. I can always drop it for if I get something better out of a stash. Put everything in there for now. That's good. Let's just say that these BP rounds definitely went through that uh, chest armor. I think I headshot them though. I don't believe it was a two tap to the chest. Trying to keep my eyes open and looking forward. Don't even bother with that one. Keep my ears open. Beautiful. Guess we can check it. Certainly not anything we want. Okay. Do we head underneath? These are the questions. We really want those scissors, but we also just want to survive. Inside, you can hear people sprinting out here, and I've definitely set up ambushes on other people heading inside, so I choose to stay a little quieter around this area. Power is on, it's, it seems, based on the lighting. It's definitely an easy reset here. Got a level 4 armor. Got a space saving rig. These scavs can sometimes just hide back here. And just really fuck your day up. Thought I heard some shuffling. If we die, we die. Curious Gen 2 goes on a lot of stuff, I think.
Usually there's something that spawns on there. Maybe it was looted. Above. When they get pissed, sometimes they do come downstairs. I'm assuming he's yelling at me. This is needed for a mechanic quest, but I don't think I'm going to get to that stage of mechanic quests. I'd rather it not take up a bunch of space. Gonna be careful. Passing here. Careful around the ramp. Check our nade box. Take a drink. Hope not to die. Double fuse. Pretty good. Should check to see if there's anything underneath this stairwell. I don't think I've ever checked back here before. You can see if somebody's unlocked the door and just hasn't gotten down here yet. Yep. I hate these generators so much. It's like, what are you even hooked up to? I guess those lights. Okay. We can just get helmets and headsets out of here, so I feel inclined to check it out. These tubes are awesome. Because we can grab that. I love guns that shoot these BP rounds. Just a, just a good, just a good caliber round. I think that goes on, yeah, goes on an M1A. I always forget you can't get through there. I think what I'm going to do is hit up those two big weapon boxes by the tents and then come back this way and then go up the stairs into Goshen and look for those scissors before getting out of here. We'll hit the crates back here on our way out. Stop to listen real quick. Definitely treat this game like a like Tom Clancy like stealth simulator. The old Splinter Cell games is pretty much how I treat this game. I think it's for me it's the most fun way of playing. Ooh, I love the dry Elkan. box drop the lunch box actually we'll eat one of you I 
Oh, this is just for an HK, that enhanced tube. That's fine. Looking for murderous scavengers. I am overweight, so I'm making quite a bit of noise. Uh, more than I would ordinarily make, so I need to keep that in mind. I'm a little less splinter cell than I think I am. It's so dark down here, like... Pretty much... F? BT, okay. We drop this. Where did you go? Okay. And that, we can drop this preemptively. Put that up there. I'm gonna drop this. Probably can just drop this, but it's an AR-15 grip. I think it's fine to keep. Alright. You can always drop that helmet. I don't feel bad about that. I don't feel too bad about that, I should say. Gun? Nope. Interesting. Adapter for the AK. I'm not sure which one this is. I think that one just lets you put any buffer tube on an AK. It's not bad. Didn't see that RK0. Another grip. I think we scanned this side for crates. I don't think we found any. Oh, we did. I remember now. care about it. want to get out of the common areas. Don't want to give any audio cues to people um, who might be over that way. So we'll go like this. If anyone has thoughts on the last video um, regarding the night raids, like, if they look awful, I, I did adjust the settings so that they look better, um, or so that you have more visibility. But I don't know if they make the game too ugly to want to watch. So if anyone has insight on that, feel free to leave that in the comments. Let me actually switch to this MP5. I don't think I've actually... yeah. That way, if we have to switch to it, just to spam off a mag. I think this is a jump over spot. I think there's a hard spawn for a important key right here. 
Also, I think you can have valuables like chains and stuff spawn in here and here. The bag here. You can check it. Do you have anything to drink? There's not. Keep our eyes open on these shelves for something to drink. Oh, there's a weapon box here. It's good to know. The best thing about Tarkov is like, the more you play a map, like you're just constantly learning things. I guess it might need to be a... I don't think it needs to be a found and raid Taz, so I don't think it much matters which Taz we got here. But I suppose we can just do this. I don't know, maybe searching for these metal cutting scissors is ill-advised because we have a lot of good stuff on us right now. Like, dying to a layer scab would be, like, a real bummer. This may already have been looted through as well. plan. <clears throat> oh. It's our first attack two bag. Okay, this is what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna make as much space as we reasonably can. drop you. We'll drop you and you. Put you in there. You here, you here, you here, you here. We will drop you off here. We will equip you and you. We'll switch to you. Very nice.
And then I think he had a helmet I wanted, right? Headset. Graph our respirator. It's RPK. Yep. Hmm. Yes, we will want this. Put that there, drop this. Uh, I feel inclined to drop this. Let's see if there's any of this that we really, really want. The bolts I think we want over a grenade. Here, the Cobra we do want. I think we dropped the LZH. BTM was nice, but is it nice enough? Maybe. This stuff, I think we can trade out painkillers that are better. And I think we drop this and we grab that. Take out the BP. Drop the BT, put this there, put this here. See what he's got. Don't think we can fit that black rock anywhere. Propotel I really want. Fuck, this is hard. Grab the contacts. Want the RPK as well, but I think the armor, level 4 armor, is more important. can take up too much space, but it takes up enough. Let's see what he has in his attack too before we... I need to get out of here. <laughs> We need you, we need you so bad. Okay, right, we'll drop the razor. Um, drop all this nonsense for our bag stack. Oh shit, I can't take that. That makes sense, okay. Take the Propotel over that. Take the Salewa over those two nades. I think we'll keep the Vaseline. We do want that mag. Oh, these are tough decisions. Uh, ULAC, this one is better. We do want the Taz. We also probably want some attachments here. I think I dropped the Salewa for the RK2 and this. The D ball, that's a real good question. Uh, we probably want these mags too. Definitely want the mag over that. Over the Quake and the BT, we probably want that mag. I don't know where it went. I think it just pooped on the ground. All right, whatever. That means we will just take that and that. You're heavy duty here. We got our metal cutting scissors. Just need to survive. How much time do we have? Limited. Oh shit. Shot. Presumably just killing a scavenger. We are heavy.
Really hoping I didn't miss any important gear, but we'll have to figure it out later. I think I need to go my standard route where I loop around the side. I just don't have the stam. Take other routes, just too risky. Thank God for that BP ammo. Otherwise, I don't know if I was down in those boys. Took me a full minute to walk that distance. <laughs> uh, I should probably just stay ADS. Be ready. Definitely surprised the living shit out of them. Those moving trees spook me out. God damn it. No fucking way I'm bad. Oh, that's so sad. I don't know. I thought he went around the corner. I thought he went inside. I thought I heard him inside. I'm so bad. Uh, well, congratulations, man. That's so sad. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are the moments where you just fucking hate yourself. You hit me in the head with T-Ammo. What a shot, dude. He's fucking full blind. It's my shot to... Ugh, my, my fight to lose right there. Oh, that's too funny. Oh. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, that hurts so bad. Oh, that's two level five rigs. Two headsets. Um, I mean, granted, everything that I came in with, right? Another big bag, like, that was a fucking sad boy round right there. Woo! Alright, well, now that we're dead and low health, this clearly calls for a factory run. <laughs> oh, don't judge me. I know. I know. Oh. Bleeding. So I want to get out of there. Remove the heavy bleeds because that's stupid. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We'll do one more factory run, shall we? Oh boy, I'm going to fucking think about that raid for a while. The first raid of this episode. It's going to haunt me. Those are the raids that fucking haunt you. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, where's that Glock? We put it maybe in this rig? Yeah, because I th think this one should have the wakeys. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's drink one of our juices just because it's probably taking up space. Actually, what we can just do is let's drink a little bit that way in case we have to stay a little longer than expected. Um, I think what we do is chest head. Stomach, and then leg, leg, and throw a little on the arm. I think that sounds good to me. Give another try.
Usually there's a scav hole sprint right up here. I'm hearing suppressed shots over that way. So there's definitely somebody in here with a suppressed weapon. I think someone else is scabbed in curse because or uh, marked in curse because we're not getting rushed. I think I'm hearing somebody above me here. We'll be sneaky, we don't want to waste all of our health that we just spent so much so many medications on. There's no way I'm getting through. He has an alt none. Fucking heater just turns on in my apartment and it's so goddamn loud. Can't hear fucking jack shit when it turns on. Oh! Goodbye, light bleed. I think we have one more Glock. I mean, I think we have a couple with some optics on there, but. Come on, load up. Let's check our pistol supply. We've got one more PM. Yeah, we can just go with this guy. Let's grab chest, head, stomach. Try to make it out with some scab gear. A beret! Hooray, a beret. Oh shit, I think I only had a couple bullets for this thing, because I am out. Just ignore that, pretend I put it on my person. Check for our key that we're looking for so badly. Pretty sure they don't spawn anymore. I'm like 100% sure. Did we... Yeah, we did check both. Sorry, we need that pistol. We're poor. Oh, cool. You can put it right in the chamber. It's pretty cool. I think there might be someone over here. I thought I was hearing some footsteps. If only. See if we can get some more scabs up in this business.
Get a little covert movement XP. Figure out where I was hearing that noise. Up here somewhere. Come on, footstep. Really have to walk on the one piece of metal. Hmm, just check also see if this is the uh, armor pen rounds. My guess is not, but you never know. Nope. metal. I wonder if it's the walkway there. Sometimes it's hard to tell where these things are coming from. Here for sure. Okay, another one dead. I found a bigger. All right, I guess I'm just bad. I get it. Oh, well, oh, well. Ugh. Nice headshot, Scav. Oh, yeah, I did kill that PMC. I think I messed that other guy up. Definitely hit him in the arm. Ah, oh, well, fun raids. Bummer. I missed out on being able to turn the taws in. I, had, oh, I don't even want to reflect on raid. Okay, I'm done. Bye. It was nice, fun time. We'll see you next time.